the first time I get to see the van as soon as it pulls up here. I'm actually in Springfield, Illinois. Flew here from Chicago and then from there I went from uh, Denver to Chicago so kind of spent. But it'll all be worth it after I get this van back home and built. We're uh, driving the new Sprinter van from Springfield, Illinois to Estes Park, Colorado. I can't be more excited. <laughs> this thing drives amazing. Uh, it's a 2021 4x4 Sprinter and it's beautiful. It drives incredibly smooth, sits up really tall. The controls are amazing. Big 10 inch screen. Yeah, so far it's been a great, uh, a great endeavor. Um, just wish I didn't have to fly so far to get it. Well, this uh, has taken an interesting turn. The uh, Sprinter van that I picked up in Springfield, Illinois last night, uh, I drove through the night and um, I'm out here on uh, Highway 36 right now as we speak sitting in the van because I hit a deer and uh, now I'm just waiting on insurance and a tow truck and all of that sort of stuff to happen. Um, yeah, a wild night for sure. So I would drive for two or three hours and then pull over and rest for half an hour and then drive for two or three hours more and then pull over and rest. So I got here at about 6.30, came around a corner, got up to speed about 70 and totally smashed a deer with the front right side of my uh, brand new van, 700 miles on it. <laughs> so, anyway, waiting. This is gonna be fun. I've been sitting here for five hours. Four, I don't know, four or five hours. Making phone calls, checking the web, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm on hold right now. I would love to show you the front of the van, but every time I look at it, it kind of makes me nauseous. So I'm going to uh, just not. I'm kind of tired of looking at it. <laughs> kind of makes me sick. I'd love to be able to drive it to the dealer or to the uh, repair shop so they could take care of it, but I can't. So Anyway, I'll let you know what goes on. We'll see what happens here. I think they could get it in today and work on it and hopefully have it back to normal, whatever time frame that looks like. I don't know. So uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, just keep trotting along here. It's been quite the adventure for the past couple of days, so. Well, about two hours has gone by since I uh, checked in last with that last piece of video. And I'm still sitting here, trying to get a tow truck to come pick me up. Out in the middle of nowhere by Yuma, Colorado. Interesting little town, Akron, Colorado, right on Highway 34, um, east of Fort Morgan. This is where I hobbled the van to, uh, to uh, have a tow truck meet me here. Um, aside from other tow truck fiascos and a few other ridiculous uh, things that have happened over the course of the last 24 hours. 15 minutes between flights is not enough time to get from one terminal to the next, FYI. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting, wandering around, grabbed a sandwich at Cornerstone Coffee. Uh, interesting little mom and pop shop. But uh, I wanted to show you what's going on here with the van. So uh, watch, look here. So 
that, this tank is what's known as the DEF tank. Or what is it, diesel exhaust fluid or something like that. And that like cleans the exhaust before it goes out the muffler into the air. It's kind of a new EPA thing. But uh, yeah, this thing got hammered hard. Back up a little bit. Check out the uh, duct tape job to hold stuff together while I drive. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, just waiting. Carrie's gonna come down from Estes Park to pick me up, and I'm gonna leave my uh, van at uh, what's the, uh, Iron Mountain Collision in Loveland. So uh, we'll see how they do. I'm excited, actually. Um, not really excited, I'm just more dazed because I've got like literally two or less hours over the course of the past 30 something hours. So I'm like on autopilot here. I just had three espressos and that's helping, but whew. anyway, I'll let you know how this turns out. I guess we'll see, right? <laughs> what a crazy adventure. So, one thing to note is that you don't always get what you want. Like I was anticipating this to be this really cool adventure where I'd fly to Chicago and then fly from Chicago to Springfield and all that was actually really cool. I love, I love flying and it was a great experience. Um, I actually got to fly first class, which was fantastic. Um, and then, uh, you know, after that, I picked up the van at a place in Springfield, drove it quite a bit, and um, you know it was going great. I was really tired, so I pull, I drive for two or three hours, pull over, sleep for half an hour, drive for two or three hours more, and then I hit that deer outside of uh, Yuma, uh, Colorado, and um, you know I. I'm selfish in the fact that I really wanted an adventure and I wanted this to be this really cool, you know, everything about it I wanted it to be cool, like seeing the sunrise and, you know, all these things and I had planned on stopping and videoing all of that and to be honest I was really disappointed but I still, I still got an adventure which is the good part and uh, it's still going on, I'm still waiting for the tow truck to show up. Carrie's gonna come pick me up. I probably won't be home until after dark again. And I hit the deer this morning at 6.30 as the sun was coming up. And so I got an adventure. It just wasn't the one that I had planned. And I think that's the key takeaway here is just that the universe is gonna give you what it wants. <laughs> and uh, today is a definite example of that. So. Still trying to figure out exactly how to, uh, you know, how to make this into a positive. It's hard for me to think about it right now because I'm on so lack, so little sleep. To be honest, I have a fantastic life, and things usually go my way. They hadn't for like the first 30 years of my life, but now things are great. <laughs> 